what's up everybody it's your girl b octavia and i am back with another video welcome to my channel if you are new my name is b octavia i'm 23 years old and i'm from washington dc here on my channel i like to talk about a number of things i talk about what's going on in today's time but i also like to take it back in time doing a lot of different content throughout these two years i feel like i've really been growing into the woman that i'm supposed to be and i'm more focused than ever but you know there are those times where you feel like you're on the wrong path or you feel like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing i felt like that too but at this moment in time, I feel really good about my content. I'm 100% confident in it, and I stand by everything that I say. Today's video is Real Talk Tuesday, and in today's video, I will be talking about what it means to be a black woman, but I do want to make this general as well. I don't want to just say black woman because we women you know i stand by any woman that i believe it comes a point where um that belief starts to wary you know on either side but it always can come back together and we all should stand together i seen meg's video on what it means to be a black woman and i really just wanted to freestyle about we're well, not freestyle like rap <laughs> but i wanted to just say what it means to me on being a woman and what it means to me on being a black woman being a woman and coming into womanhood has been a very difficult task there are a lot of different things that you have to put into consideration when it comes to a young lady growing into a woman. You know, there may be past childhood traumas that you have to deal with, such as bullying, you know, people telling you who you are instead of you believing yourself, deep-rooted insecurities, and a number of things that a young lady has to confront in order to fully embody being a woman what does it mean to me to be a woman it's to completely know yourself know your triggers know your limits know who you are accepting yourself you have to 100 percent accept yourself especially when you're in this line of work you have to because you'll realize that there will be people that don't accept what you do and you have to be okay with that and move forward it's a lot of people that don't move forward because of negative comments because of people throwing their opinions out there of what they feel a person should do listen to yourself to be a woman is to have your own mind it's a lot of people it's a lot of young ladies that are older than me that are not yet women because they focus on the wrong shit. sitting up praising these ig celebrities for whatever they have and that's not what you have you don't have the bags the shoes the outfits but you're spending so much time on that on focusing on what another woman has either liking it or not liking it that's some young lady shit that's not no woman shit and in having your own mind as a woman you have to literally be okay and be almost expecting people a lot of people to go against what you say and that could be other women that could be men but you can't be intimidated to the point where you stop saying how you feel. Being a woman is not easy. But I want to tell you about being a black woman as well. In the way that I say things, 
people may think that I have an attitude. I don't. It's passion that you see. I'm using that pain of not knowing what my passion is. Not knowing what I wanted to do with my life. I'm using it. And I'm using it in the best way. I'm using it to teach lessons. You have to use your mouth in the right ways. Do what works for you. This works for me. And I know that. Being a black woman, you have to almost expect people to think that you not only have an attitude for how you're saying things, but for your expression these are my own expressions i smile when i want to i laugh when i want to i raise my eyebrow when i want to but being a black woman you almost have to expect those type of assumptions about you and move forward being a black woman is tough because all black women don't support all black women we are all in a fight to make it so that everybody feels equal to everybody we are all in the same struggle we are we divide each other so much and try to break each other down one thing that i don't do in my content is try to break somebody down or try to tear somebody down that's not my intention if you don't see my intention as pure I'm not forcing you to be here. You know, not everybody just speaks for views. I started this at zero. I'm not at, what, 20K, 100K. Go get mad at those people. I'm still building what I need to build. And me building what I need to build is going to be based on something real. It's going to be based on how I really feel, being honest. It is out of love. It's always a lesson, but those assumptions come anyway. Being a black woman, like I said, I've come in contact with young ladies my age or grown women who have a problem with me that is not my problem because I am never going to change. Never. I'm never going to change. I'm always going to be this person. I'm always going to come to y'all and really tell y'all how I feel about certain things. And that's how I feel. I feel like I can't help it. You know, one thing that I do, though, is I set a standard. Even when you are disrespecting me as a black woman, no matter your age, I'm just going to keep it brief with you and just keep it positive And you'll just know that. You know, I'm not going to keep going back and forth with somebody that could be an auntie, somebody that could be whoever, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm always going to keep it respectful because a standard needs to be set on how we speak to each other. We don't want any other races talking down on us, disrespecting us, thinking we are a certain way we're not. And we're making those assumptions about each other. Like, I'm not into the disrespect, you know. And I'm not going to feed into it neither. As a black woman, you have to set those standards that you feel necessary. Some people set negative standards about themselves. And they got to deal with that. I'm on a positive path and I don't care if anybody chooses to go the other way. Being a black woman, you can't be scared of that. You can't be scared of the ridicule that's going to come. You can't be scared of how other people are going to feel that's going to come. You can't be scared to live your life, no matter how you feel necessary. As a black woman, you have to be strong. You have to, because there's so many people against you, against what you do, against who you are against what you stand for you gotta stand on 10 you do you gotta know exactly who you are because it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna try to tell you you gotta live in your truth 
Like, my hair ain't all the way dry. Still got some, some conditioner that need to dry. You know, I got acne scars. But I'm coming, I'm coming to y'all. In my truth. This is me. I'm getting my skin together. It's all coming together. But I'm coming to y'all every single day almost. In any form that I come. Because I accept myself. I'm putting the work in with myself. I write in my journal almost every day about how I feel, about how the day is going, about, you know, different things that are troubling me. And I work it out with myself because when you start to say everything to everybody and those comments aren't really what you want to hear or, you know, it's just not necessary or not what i'm talking about that's not what i need i need to talk to myself get right with yourself as a woman you know period get right with yourself know who you are know what you can handle and know where you want to go in life that could be the gutter or that could be a high rise that could be you living on the streets because of your decisions or that could be you working your way up to be a millionaire it could be anything work towards it work towards the best thing for you don't take nobody with you you know what i'm saying that's your own path this is my own path it's your girl b octavia i will see y'all in my next video which will be very soon make sure that you show love on here make sure that you get in them comments go over to my second channel show love and i will see y'all and i will see y'all then